Welcome to the introduction to TS Power. This is a website that's trying to make it easier to map, graph, and analyze socioeconomic data, especially from developing countries. We already have thousands of variables from uh, a range of data sets in Thailand. And uh, we offer dozens of tools with which you can analyze those data. There are mapped mapping tools, graphing tools, statistical tools, and summary tools. Let's start with the map tool. So I click on the map tab. I can click on any of the map options. Let's just do the single map. Now I'm going to, you see that uh, that's the title of the, the tool. Here's the description of what the tool is. And here's a list of, um, of steps that you can go through to make this tool work. Here we can type in a search term uh, to find a variable that we're interested in. I'm going to type in the word number of bicycles. And uh, this little thing allows me to search either in all data sets or a particular data set. I'm actually searching a particular data set called the Community Development Survey of Thailand. And after I do that search in this section, uh, search results come up. There's one page of result. And the first result, uh, that's the description of the variable. Those are, those are the variable IDs, and that's for the dates for which the variable is available for. Now I can click on a date, say 1999. After I do that, the variable pops up on the left-hand side. And um, I have now this button called Graph Single Map. If I click here, it will graph the variable which I've just selected. So right away, I've created a map which shows me exactly where in Thailand there's a lot of bicycles on average per, uh, per village. Um, and the legend shows me with darker colors the places where there's more. Now this graph page is actually on the same page as the selection section. This allows you to easily go back and forth between what old selections and try to uh, change what you did to, uh, to, to select new things. So now after a map, maybe we're interested in looking at the variable with other tools. So I can choose the tool histogram. So by clicking here, I'm into the histogram tool. All I have to do now, it's the same variable still selected. Just click the histogram button and it made a histogram of the number of households having bicycles. Um, by default, some outliers are cut. One percent of the outliers are cut. You can change the default setting by going into some of the options. So now I might be interested in comparing the number of bicycles to the number of motorcycles in Thailand. So I'm going to change my search term. Now it's number of motorcycles and click enter again. So you see another variable came up. Uh, and uh, we also have many dates for which the number of houses having mot motorcycles available. On the left hand side of the screen here, you see that there are actually slots opened here. Only one slot is filled. The first one, the, the ones that look pink are filled. If I select another variable, motorcycle from 1999, the second slot is now filled. And I can go between the two slots. You can see I'm, the variable here is changing. So basically, in this section of the website, it's, a, it's like a cafeteria where there are thousands of options that you can choose from. And then on the left hand side there, you have a tray and there are potential slots in the tray which you can fill with items you've chosen from the long list of menu. And, uh, and uh, now having chosen two variables, I can do a couple of things. I can look at the variable individually. You see that there's a couple of things that I can do. I can graph this. So by clicking here, I will only make a histogram for this this one variable, the second thing I've selected. So I just do that. And it may, it's making a histogram of number of households having motorcycles. The same would uh, happen for bicycles if I clicked here. If I click on this big button instead, I will actually now produce one image with two histograms, which is showing me two variables next to each other. And, um, and inside um, each of the selection, I can click on the summary to get the summary statistics for the variable or click on values to get all the unique values which is available for the variable. Now, since I've selected two variables, I can actually go into statistics and do a regression. So you can see that the first variable is that it automatically becomes the Y variable. The second variable is the X variable. So all I have to do is click on graph scatter. And um, now I have a scatter plot, which is showing me um, 
not only the scatter plot of the two variables, um, but also the re basic regression of these results and the R square. So you see that they are not very correlated, but there's somewhat of a positive relationship. Now, say you have selected three variables, what happens is in the third variable you selected here becomes an extra variable. So if I graph this, um, the third variable will not show up because this is only a scatter plot tool. And uh, if I only had one variable selected, you can see that this button is no longer usable because for the scatter plot tool, you need at least two variables for it to work. So now that we have two variables, we can actually go back to map and make a map called um, adjacent map. So what this map tool does is that um, you will now paint two maps adjacent to each other and uh, you can see right away uh, exactly how different the distribution of bicycles and motorcycles are in Thailand. And you can see that in the south of Thailand, motorcycle is very popular and bicycle is not very popular here. Bicycle is more, far more popular in the north east of Thailand. So, um, so that's very interesting. And we can actually go back to the previous graphs we have made by clicking on those buttons here. Um, so say you are you're happy with the maps you have made and you want to save it. So you can just click on the save button here. You have this independent window open. You can just now copy the image onto your hard drive. But what if you want to do more analysis? You want to get the actual data, some of the actual data out and, and use another tool you have, maybe Stata, maybe just work with it in Excel. What you can actually do here is um, you can go to the word summary, the, this tab summary, and you can click on for example, here, statistics per province. After I click there, um, you can you, you see I have selected two things, the same two things. And if you do that, you will actually create a table. The first column is number of houses having bicycles for 1999, the second one for motorcycles. And you actually have all the average values for each province. And if you're interested in analyzing this data more, you can click on the word save and you will get the data. You can export the data. Uh, just copy this thing, copy it into a text file, and you can open it as a CSV and uh, do more analysis with it outside of the tool. Um, and for each of the variable, as I've mentioned before, you can click on the um, the summary. So you have the summary statistics and summary statistics. Um, f instead of having the summary statistics show up separately here, you can have them show up together. If you click on variable summary statistics and click here, it will now create a table where all the values that we sh saw here are contained together for all the selections that you have made. Um, so there's a cup there. There's some other options, um, other ways to to use this uh, website, which I was showing the advanced tutorial. But uh, to finish off, there's a tab which is called browse here. And if you click on there, you will see that we have our, some of our data sets listed. And by clicking on a data set, you will see that um, it's listing, for example, this one, Thailand Labor Force Survey, it's actually listing the most important variables from the data set. So instead of having to search, sometimes you don't know what to search for. So you can come over to here and you can look at all the variables that back, listed by category that might interest you. And you can even go into categories and if you click on wages and income, now it shows you important variables from each data set, which is um, on the topic wage and income. By clicking any of them, you create a search query, which um, outputs the variable that you're interested in. And you can now do selections and, uh, and work with the tool. Tools you have chosen to, to analyze it in a variety of ways. So thank you very much.